Hey art friends, today we're drawing a dinosaur. Which one are we drawing? An iguanodon. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can always use whatever you have. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our dinosaur's eye. We're gonna draw over here. We also have our paper horizontal so that we have more room for the tail. And we're gonna draw the head over here on the left and we're gonna just draw a oval shape, a small oval shape. Yeah, and then let's draw the top of the head. And we're gonna draw a curve that goes up, over, and then we're gonna curve down for the snout. And I think iguanodons kind of have unique beaks or snouts, mouths, their mouth, it, it kind of looks like it might have a hard shell to it. So let's draw now the mouth. I'm gonna come back like this, and then we'll stop like that. And then let's draw the bottom of the mouth. We're gonna come under, and then we're gonna come back and we'll stop there. Yeah, and we could also add, I think they have like a little line that comes up like this to make it look more like a beak. And then we could also even add a line here and I'm gonna add a little line down there for extra detail. Okay, now we can even add a little nostril too. And then let's draw the neck. We're gonna draw the back of the neck first. We're gonna just come down a little and then we'll curve to the right. Then let's draw the front of the neck. We're gonna follow that same shape. We're gonna come down a little further and look, I'm getting a little wider too at the bottom. Almost looks like a camel's head. Yeah. Yeah, now let's draw the back and we're gonna come up like this. We're gonna come over and then we'll start curving down towards the end of the body. Then let's draw the tail and we're gonna curve around like this and maybe even curve back the other way. Oh, yours is looking really cool. Okay, now let's draw the chest. We're gonna come here and we'll draw a curve that comes down. And we're gonna draw the first leg. So we're gonna bend, we'll start inside the body, we'll bend this way and then we'll bend forward. They have these kind of cool spikes on one side of the arm or the hand. This could also be considered, a, I think, a little bit of a foot too because they have, um, I think they could stand on their hind legs, but they would also put these down. So we got the first toe, and then we can add another toe. And I'm going to add one more toe right here, and we'll come start coming up. Let's add another kind of spiky toe right here. And then we're gonna come up for the rest of the arm or leg and into the body. Now let's do the same thing for another arm so that it looks more 3D. So I'm gonna come down and then we're gonna bend forward like our dinosaur is taking a step. And then we can even curve the foot down. So the little toes we're gonna to curve down and then we'll draw a little diagonal line coming back up. Let's add another toe right next to it. And then let's draw that little spike that we drew on this side. We're gonna draw it coming this direction in. And then let's draw the rest of the arm or leg coming up to the body. And you can only see part of the toes or some of the toes because it's 3D and these are behind the hand or yeah. the foot. Now let's draw the belly. We're gonna imagine the chest coming underneath or behind this front leg. Then we're gonna draw the belly coming to the right. Then we're gonna draw the back leg and it's a lot stronger. So we're coming up higher into the body. Then we're gonna to bend towards the right. And then we're gonna come down for the foot. And we're trying to stop so that the bottom of the front foot is right in line with where we're gonna add the back foot. So we're gonna add a little toe right here. Then we're gonna add another toe. Then let's add one more toe next to it. Look like sideways Vs. Then we're gonna come up for the rest of the foot or leg. And then we're gonna curve forward. Watch, I'm gonna curve towards the knee. And then we're gonna get further away as we come up. 
we can even come back down here and add little talons or, or claws, toes, to big toenails. We could even add those little toe lines to the front feet. Okay, now let's add another foot right here so it looks even more 3D or another back leg. So I'm just gonna match that same curve for the first leg. And then let's add the toes. We're gonna add the first toe. And maybe this one we're only gonna add two toes because the other one is hidden behind the first toe. And we'll come up and connect to the leg. Yeah. Oh, let's add those little toenails. <laughs> Now we're ready to finish the tail. We're gonna imagine the belly going behind this back leg. We're gonna come up. And then as we get towards the end of the tail, we're getting closer and closer until we come to a point. We did it, Jack. We finished drawing our iguanodon, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, and we're gonna use our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. And we've already picked out the colors. We're only using three. But also remember, you don't have to use the same supplies or even the same colors. You can use a completely different brand of markers, or you could use something entirely different like colored pencils or even crayons or oil pastels. But if you have the same set that we're using, the colors that we have picked out are 41, which is kind of a gold brown color. And then we're using two. A two, which is a dark red that we'll use for the texture or the pattern that we have on our dinosaur. And then we have WG5, which is a warm gray, and we'll use this for shading our dinosaur to make him look more 3D. First, let's start out with coloring our entire dinosaur one color, and that's our 41 brown, kind of a gold color. And this part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your dinosaurs also. Next, we're switching to our dark red, number two, and we're, let's add stripes to our dinosaur. I think that's also one of the fun parts about drawing dinosaurs or prehistoric animals is that we don't really have a good idea of what exactly they look like. We got their bones, but we don't know what kind of patterns or texture that they had. And uh, I think uh, adding little patterns or details on our dinosaur is really fun because you can let your creativity go wild and, and add whatever stripes or spots that you want or even change the colors too. Yeah. That looks really cool, Jack. I love the texture and the stripes and even the spots that you've added. It's awesome. Thanks. And it's really fun layering that different color, the red, on top of the brown. Now we're switching to WG5, our warm gray. This is for a shadow. I'm gonna start by adding a shadow on the back leg. This is going to make it like instantly look more 3D. Oh yeah. Isn't that cool? Yep. And then we're gonna add a little shadow on this front leg, and I'm only putting it on the bottom part. So we're imagining the light or the sun shining down on our dinosaur, so the shadows will be on the opposite side. Let's also shade the belly of our dinosaur. So I'm gonna shade right here, and then we can also imagine that going underneath or behind the back leg, and then up and around the tail. We can also use this color to add wrinkles in our dinosaur skin. So we're gonna add little wrinkles right here, maybe even on the neck. And here where their legs bend. Oh, also, let's add a little shadow underneath our dinosaur's head and down the neck. I picked out a new color, WG1. This is a lighter gray, and we can use this to add a little more blending for that shadow. So we can go back over the dark WG5 and blend it in so it's not a sharp line for the shadow. And then the very last thing we could do to our drawing is use our white colored pencil. And this is a Prismacolor colored pencil. So I like this brand because even though we have these dark colors from the marker, we can use the white colored pencil to lighten up and add a highlight. And this is where we're imagining the sun shining down on our dinosaurs. So the top part would be a lot lighter. And this is gonna make our dinosaur look even more 3D. So I'm gonna press lightly on top of the body. 
You can even add a little highlight on the back of the neck and also down the tail. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our iguanodons and they turned out so cool. Yeah, they did. I love how they look colored in and I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. And remember, you don't have to color it exactly like us. You can change it completely different and you can also even add a background. You can also add more dinosaurs. Oh yeah, you could draw the background, but then you could draw different kinds of dinosaurs. You could even draw more iguanodons. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your iguanodons. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.